These are my good friends, Dominic and Dana. And together, we're gonna ride bikes around Western Cuba. There's our alarm. Dom's already up. Final day of riding. Boom. How you feeling, bud? I feel good. feel good. Just counting my money. Good morning. Are you excited for the last day of riding? I am excited for the last day of riding, but it went so fast. Here we go. Our final morning of bike riding. It shouldn't be too far, about 45 kilometers, but we do have the chaos of Havana to ride through. These bikes have done us very well. And yes, if you're wondering, I've been wearing this every single day. But I've been washing it at nighttime in the sinks, so it doesn't smell that bad. What are we looking at here? That is a clump, a clump of 1,000 bugs. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> so Dana had her own room, that's just how the situation was. And check out this on the wall. Lucky. <laughs> Hi, doggy. It's been an amazing week. God, riding through Cuba is like a dream, it really is. I've told a lot of people this, but riding in Cuba is one of my favorite places in the world. It's really safe, there's not much traffic, it's pretty easy to navigate. When you ask Cubans directions, they usually give you the right directions. <laughs> And uh, it's just a fascinating country. It's one of those mornings that makes you just appreciate being alive and appreciate being right here, right now. This is the spot to be. There is no other spot on planet Earth I'd rather be right now than right here. Riding through cities is always my least favorite part of bike touring. I always get just confused and it's dangerous and there's cars and it's loud and blah. But you stop here and there, you ask directions and you slowly pick your way through. In Velo, Cuba, this is not the place we rented the bikes, but it's, they have two shops, so this is the place where we're dropping them off. I have to say goodbye to my bike. It was the little bike that could. It's always a funny feeling, finishing a bike tour. It feels almost anticlimactic, like you've been riding every day and you're on this big mission and all of a sudden you're done. And you're like, what am I supposed to do with my body now when I wake up in the morning? <laughs> go for a run, maybe? All right, maybe I'll go for a run tomorrow. Dom is setting up for our final portrait bittersweet moment saying goodbye to the bike tour in Cuba. Hey look, it's Dom and Dana. Here we are. Here you guys are. So um, tell me about riding a bike in Cuba. How was it? What was it like? How did it make you feel? Go, Dom. Me? Okay. The, the mixture of cars and trucks and horse-drawn vehicles and bicycles and people selling stuff on bicycles is, uh, is pretty cool. I felt like there are two kinds of Cuba. There's like Havana and then outside of Havana. Like it was, it's so different. It's so simple. And we're really curious about where we are. It's like the <laughs> Wild West. And they're curious about us, like they're looking at us just as curious. And I found the people to be so pleasant, not over like friendly, like in the States, you know, but just kind of this inward sort of simple kindness. And there was this thing about them where it doesn't seem like they have a lot, but they don't seem to really miss what they don't know they don't have 
and I really, really enjoyed just being out in the country, on the road, seeing all the beautiful like palm trees and pine trees. And in Cuba, riding a bike on highways gets less dangerous the bigger the highway. Uh, it appears that you're most likely to get run over by a horse or a delinquent child on their own bicycle than you are on anything that's going to do any kind of lasting damage. Um, the, I was a little reticent about getting on the autopista, the, the, the Cuban freeway, uh, here at any point, mostly because it's a little bit boring, but also because you expect a higher uh, volume of fast-moving traffic. In fact, it's almost the opposite. On the little roads, you have the track, the, the, the village transport tractors carrying everyone to school or work and this and that. And, uh, they come by fairly often. And then on the freeway, freeway, <laughs> the four lane road, there really isn't very much. And one lane is basically for bicycles. I wasn't wearing a helmet. Uh, don't know whether that's a good or a bad thing, but halfway through the trip, it became pretty clear that getting hit by a car probably wasn't going to happen. It's not going to stop me falling off my bike, but it's safe and pretty relaxed riding here, more than anywhere in the world, I think. It always felt safe. Even on the country roads, it was more, you just had to pay attention because of all the potholes, like the pavement was And the tour buses, spotty. Right? The, tour, the buses. tour buses are the only risk, I feel yeah. like, in Cuba. Yeah. We didn't really know exactly where we were going, where we were staying, but it is really the best way to get the feel of Cuba. And um, if you take your time, like to just kind of figure it out and, and figure out how to navigate through the little towns and the Casa Particulars, is that right? Um, it's a really amazing experience. It's the best way. I think to see Cuba. I don't know why other people come to Cuba, but I came for the pizza. And no, I didn't come for the pizza, but the pizza saved my life. Um, I've never eaten so much pizza ever in my life. And the food in Cuba is really different than what you think. Like you think, oh, Cuba, rice and beans. Well, maybe, but uh, a lot of the street food is pizza and Pizza and ice cream. I rode my way around Cuba on pizza and ice cream and love and kindness and drafting off Dom. <laughs> well, I would say Cuba benefits from all the same things that a bike gives any bicycle travel, which is, you know, with no doors and windows and no engine running, you get to interact with everyone and, and the Cubans are friendly, lovely people that, and they'll interact right back at you definitely feel safe you know and and as a result of that carefree and even more relaxing than riding in a lot of other uh, especially Latin American countries uh, I love them all but Cuba you really can have your guard down and and never really suffer as a result of that which is a, a lovely thing uh, the weird sort of stepping between two worlds of, of a, a nation that once felt pretty illustrious in terms of the old cars and the, the sort of Hispanic uh, colonial buildings and a kind of uh, a nation that's still you know fairly impoverished and still suffering in, in many ways that is a real novelty about about this country which is exciting and interesting I have never had days of tailwind like we had it was like thank you thank you yeah, it was amazing. Almost every direction we went, it felt like we had a tailwind. It was glorious. Team Cuba, we did it. We came, we biked, we had a great time. It was awesome. We're Thank going you guys. home. We're going home with smiles on our faces. We didn't break Thanks any so. bones. Oh, thank you. We didn't pop any tires. We didn't break any bones. No what else? Laddies, no crashies, no, no crashies, windies. nothing. It was all good. And now we're in Havana and uh, going home with stories to share. Mm.